So in this problem, we're told to find the most general antiderivative of the function. And we're given the function f of x, which equals 6x to the 9 minus 2x to the 6 plus 13x cubed. So we're trying to find the antiderivative of this function, and we represent that by capital F of x. So let's just start with our first part here, 6x to the 9. So we're going to find the antiderivative of this. So this is basically 6 times the the, the antiderivative of 6x to the 9 is 6 times the antiderivative of x to the 9. So the derivative of x to the 9 is going to be equal to x, and then what we do is we add 1 to our exponent, so 9 plus 1 is 10, and then we divide by that. So it's going to be x to the 10 divided by 10, then we're multiplying it by 6. So it's just going to become 6x to the 10 divided by 10. Then we can simplify this to be, if we divide both by 2, we'll get 3x to the 10 divided by 5. So we can rewrite that up here. So we're going to have f of x equals 3 over 5 x to the 10. Then now we want to find the antiderivative of minus 2 times x to the 6. So we're going to find the antiderivative of x to the 6 and then multiply it by minus 2. So x to the 6 is going to be equal to x. And then we add 1 from our previous exponent. So it's going to be x to the 7. And then we divide by that, so 7. Then we multiply it by minus 2, so it's going to become minus 2x to the 7 over 7. Then we can rewrite that up here. So we're going to have 3 over 5x to the 10 minus 2 over 7x to the 7. Then now we got to find it, the antiderivative of 13x to the 3. So let's find x to the 3 and then multiply it by 13. So it's going to be x to the 3 equals, and then we add 1 to our previous exponent, so it's going to become x to the 4, and then we divide by that. So x to the 4 over 4, but then we're multiplying it by 13, so it's become 13 x to the 4 over 4. So if we rewrite that up here, we'll get plus 13 over 4 x to the 4. But the thing is we're not done. We have to add a constant, because whenever you take the antiderivative of a function, you got to add uh, the constant, so plus some variable constant, and we can represent that by c. So our answer to this problem is going to be 3 over 5 x to the 10 minus 2 over 7 x to the 7 plus 13 over 4 x to the 4 plus c.